Hey everyone! Okay, so I just finished this page and I really, really, really don't like it. Like, a lot. Like, a lot. Don't like it. So, um, and now I just scratched his face with my skanky fingers. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna do another page so that hopefully you don't lose all faith in me because that was so very icky. And, um, yeah, this is H. And it's got some stuff and I don't think I really care too much because I think I'm gonna put a lot of stuff on it. Um, I think I'm going to play a lot with this mesh drywall tape. Um, this is like one of the best deals ever. It's self-sticky and you get like a thousand million hundred ninja fast uh, yards, which is what my son says when he thinks things are really a lot because he is in karate and everything that is good or fast is ninja. So uh, yeah, that's how fast it is. So I'm going to be done talking and I'm going to start playing and hopefully it comes out a lot better than the hot mess that happened over here. Um, and just so you know, this is one of my personal pages. I just started this journal and this was kind of the inspiration for this and it didn't end up as well as this page. So this page is just, it just as always laugh, but I just used some um, of the cir circle drywall tape and um, some silver pigment ink and Distress inks in the background and some gesso randomly, and then I colored that with dilutions. I brushed it on, and then, uh, as you can see, some tissue tape here and there. And then this was from a magazine, and I collaged it on. This is a Spellbinders cutout. Um, yeah, so I really liked how that came out, and so that was kind of the inspiration for the colors on this hot mess. And yeah, oh well, it is what it is. So. We're going to make something better over here, and I'll probably end up going back with my pinks and my blues and my other stuff, and my sister's working next to me and making a lot of noise. So if you hear stuff or see stuff, random hands come out of nowhere, it's her. So here we go. Okay, practicing being funnier already. So essentially what is happening in this video is I am covering this whole page with the drywall tape. Uh, I really wanted a nice textured page, and uh, this page is, or this whole book has been kind of a book of juxtaposition, you know, putting one completely random thing next to a completely unrelated and equally random thing. So um, I didn't want the pages to be matchy matchy, just because why should they? They're not a spread. So um, yeah, I want it different. So now I'm just trimming off the edge of that drywall tape. And let's see. I'm wadding up the drywall tape. Riveting footage. So, I don't know. Something with a hand. Oh, yeah. I'm putting my um, aluminum tape now. This is also from the hardware store, uh, right over the top of that other stuff. And if you've seen my art journal texture extravaganza uh, video, then you will have seen this technique before. So, this is nothing new to you. But I will do something new with the color, which is really fun, so stay tuned for that. Look, that's my honey. That's my little heart. His name is Rent. My son named him. Don't ask. He's a Puggle, puggle Pekingese, so part Pug, part Beagle, part Pekingese. I won't bore you with hours and hours and hours of footage of my dog, though. I just had to show you. Isn't he cute? Okay, so we're cutting off the edges of that aluminum tape. All right, I am using an EK Success stylus with a fairly large uh, tip just to go in and really push that aluminum tape down into that mesh drywall tape. Just give it a really nice deep texture. And I go both ways on it, um, so go vertically first and then horizontally. And if you'll see, my camera is slowly slowly shifting, shifting. I have it mounted to the top of my ot light. I have a couple different tripods, but they always end up getting in the way, so my new um, webcam I have mounted to the top of my ot light, and it just did not want to stay today. I had a couple different mishaps, so here it goes. See? A little bit more. A little bit more. There's the ot light. A little bit more. My Cool Whip uh, water brush cleaning container because I'm fancy like that. And essentially what you're missing by not being able to see everything is I'm essentially just smearing on the black acrylic paint with a foam brush. And then I'm going to go back and wipe some of it off just to give it a really old vintage sheet metal, you know, kind of look. And it fell and, you know, it was unfortunate. So, uh, so now what I want to do is, and here we go again with the falling. I told you it was not a good day for my camera. 
So I'm going in with a little bit of brown, a little bit of orange. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go. Oh! See? Told you. Not good. <laughs> so my, uh, we're going with a little bit of orange and a little bit of brown. And um, the brown ends up being a little bit too pumpkin-y and not rusty-y enough. So I end up going in with a different orange. There that is. And then so we're just tapping a little bit of brown, a little bit of orange with a paper towel and going in to create a rust-like effect. And it really does come out pretty cool. I'm really happy with how this page came out. This is an old uh, dictionary page. I don't know if it's French to English, Latin to English, Latin to French, Pig Latin to Spanish. I don't know. I really don't care. It gets torn up and looks pretty. That's all I care about. So just rearranging the pieces, trying to see how I like it. And then we're going to Mod Podge it down. Excuse me. We're going to Mod Podge it down. I know y'all love that. We're just going to use a little bit more Mod Podge right here. I think it looks real nice. I have family from the south, so I can turn that on whenever I need to. Let's see. So yeah, just finishing Mod Podging. We're going to dry it. Ta-da! Now we're going in with a little bit of Dilutions. This is the melted chocolate. And the reason I didn't uh, use Mod Podge on top of the paper as well was that so the paper was still porous because I knew I wanted to ink that paper up a little bit. And I did not remove all of the Dilutions from the metal. Um, it will dry on the metal, but it will still become reactive with water. So... Um, that's why I did spray it down because I didn't want it to be as intensely brown as it was. This is an old vintage 1936 or something to that effect uh, uh, envelope that I got at my local uh, antique mall. So I'm essentially just creating a little piece of paper that's going to go behind that window. Uh, this is a fairly simple, fairly short page, um, but I really like the look of it because I love vintage. I love the whole look. So. Uh, just spraying it down and some more dilutions, and then I'm gonna stamp on it. I told you guys I would give you more singing, and I don't even know what to sing. I have such a huge repertoire, so I, I just don't even know. I could do a little French, a little Celine Dion, a little Edith Piaf. I don't know. Ah, uh, see? Yeah, there I am, upside down, just because I'm frustrated because that camera keeps falling. Obnoxious! Oh, I got that Fisker stamp press from Michaels for like six bucks. I've been coveting that thing for like two years, and finally I got it. I was like, yes! So I'm just sizing up those stamps in that window. These stamps so don't stick. They're terrible. Oh, there goes the stinking camera again. I've never had such issues with this camera, ever. Like, ever. <laughs> Taylor Swift again. Just using a little bit of a leans on the side just to, to glue it down. I probably should have glued it in the back because then the glue's slightly visible, but it dries clear, so it's really not anymore. As you can see, I have some distress ink. I think I have vintage photo and walnut stain out. And I'm using some stays on uh, Timber Brown. And the whole moral of this, again, if my pages have morals, uh, is have fun. You know, that's what art journaling is about. We're not here to always create the most beautiful pages. Um, there are some people out there who it seems like every single time they put something on a piece of paper, it's gorgeous. But you know what? Sometimes it is really just about learning and. You know what, sometimes those people I'm convinced don't share their ugly stuff, and I do share my ugly stuff, so, yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome for my ugly stuff. Anytime. That's why it's free, folks. You get what you pay for. You pay nothing here at Imperfect Impulses. Zero dollars. Subscribing is free. The videos are free. The humor, uh, or if you could call it humor, is usually free. I'm uh, just using a little bit of tissue tape here and some just dress ink. 
And I know it's off frame and I do apologize. I told you camera issues. Um, but I'm essentially just snipping the, the end so that it folds up and then I'm doing another one at the back of the the envelope just so the envelope flips up and down. And that's essentially it, guys. So um, there's G and H. I'm sorry if they were lackluster. Hopefully next time they'll be fabulous. And I will see you all soon. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.